man, 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 man. This sucks big time. I am so disappointed with this news. But guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and I really do appreciate it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and also clicking that bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. Got some bad news, guys. Most of you already know this information came out a little over a week ago that the premiere of The Banker is on hold. It was canceled. Now, I reacted to this trailer about three, three and a half weeks ago. It stars Anthony Mackie. It stars Samuel Jackson, Nicholas Holt, who's beast in the X-Men or well, Fox franchise and also Miss Nia Long. Uh, man, I was really anticipating this film. I mean, what it's about is the story of the first African-American bankers in the United States. You know, black people trying to come together, you know, financially, you know, and and lend, ba lend banks, lend money to blacks, you know, for homes and just all types of businesses. And, you know, how I would just thought it, this was going to be telling the true story of that. When I saw the trailer for it, I was just ecstatic, like, oh, my gosh, I, I want to support this movie, you know, in any way I possibly can. I mean, I was just super duper excited about it, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen anymore when the news first dropped. You know, it was kind of vague. No one really knew what was going on. But now we have uh, some new information. Uh, but Apple purchased this, um, you know, earlier this year, I believe in July. And I have an article right here from Deadline. AFI Fest abruptly canceled Apple's The Banker as closing night film is unprecedented move. And AFI is American Film Institute. This came out uh, over a week ago, November the 20th. And um, it's, it's just very, it's, it's very upsetting. I'm not going to read the whole article here, just a little bit. Um, it says, uh, in virtually unprecedented development, AFI Fest has been forced to make a last minute switch of their closing night film, The Banker, which was scheduled to have its world premiere in Hollywood Thursday night. Netflix marriage story already theatrical release has been tapped to take the shot. The Banker, which stars Anthony Mackie, Samuel Jackson, Nicholas Holt, and Neil Long, is Apple's first major film release scheduled to hit theaters on December 6th and then Apple TV's new streaming service early next year. I'm told by sources within the company that those plans are now on hold while Apple Apple takes a pause and investigates recently uncovered and potentially damaging charges that have surfaced from a family member of the Garretts. Mackie plays Anthony Mack we're talking about. Mackie plays the late Bernard Garrett Sr. in the true story set in 1963. George Nofi is the director. Um, if you don't know George Nofi, uh, he did The Birth of the Dragon, that uh, Bruce Lee um, movie that came out a couple of years ago. I didn't like that, but he did The Adjustment, the Adjustment Bureau uh, with Matt Damon a number of years ago. I enjoyed that film thoroughly, except for the ending. Uh, but George Norfi is the film's director and recently appeared at Deadline's The Contenders event to talk about the film and co-star Long. Uh, the reported allegations do not involve anyone depicted in the movie. So already when that came out and I'm, I, you know, more, you know, development has come since then, you know, but I was just, you know, highly disappointed. And here it is in the official statement from Apple themselves. We purchased the banker earlier this year as we were moved by the film's entertaining and educational story about social change and financial literacy. Last week, some concerns surrounding the film were brought to our attention. We, along with the filmmakers, need some time to look into these matters and determine the best next steps. In light of this, we are no longer premiering the banker at the AFI Fest. The statement reads, and separately, Deadline has learned that a family member has leveled some troubling allegations about Garrett Sr.'s son, Bernard Garrett Jr., and shared them with at least one Hollywood trade paper, which is planning a story. So that was the information that came out. Um, you know, this article was written by Deadline by Mr. Pete Hammond, November the 20th, 2019. I want to go ahead and give them credit. Um, you know, for dropping this. And, you know, it's, it's very upsetting. Uh, but new information has come out since then. And at this time, I was like, wait a minute. I was just kind of saying to myself, OK, if the information that's, that came out that's causing Apple to pull this film from its theatrical release and being lost on the platform, if it has absolutely nothing to do with the characters in the movie, 
then, you know, I, I'm, I was kind of upset about it. You know, I'm like, you know, if this has to do with the person's son, then, you know, like, you know, like I think a long time ago, I think Will Smith was about to come out with some type of movie or entertainment. That was like his cousin did something over here in Timbuktu. I'm like, what does that have to do with Will Smith? I mean, I could be wrong as far as the actor, but I do get you. I, I, I hope you guys uh, get my point. Um, however, more information has come out about this and it doesn't look it doesn't seem good at all. Um, the banker controversy, Bernard Garrett Jr. refutes sort of allegations made by his half sisters. So he has some half sisters that are, are alleging, you know, that there has been some foul play. And uh, we're going to be talking about that ex exactly right now. And this information is coming from Deadline as well. And also the Hollywood Reporter THR exclusive days after Cynthia and Sheila Garrett made accusations that their half brother Bernard Garrett Jr. the co-producer of Apple's original movie The Banker sexually molested them during the early 1970s. Garrett Jr. has come forward this morning with a vehement denial. The allegations made by Cynthia Garrett came to light after a comment she wrote on the Deadline story and other media that wrote stories about the upcoming film which was slotted as a first theatrical release for Apple's film division. Apple noticed this was promptly pulled the award season contender as AFI's close night film late Thursday. Garrett Jr.'s name was also abruptly removed from the banker's critics and promo material. Now, I'm going to provide there's links down to, in the description box, you know, for this. And I'm not going to read like every article. I was going to go through one more. And this one is uh, quite lengthy here. And I'm, I'm going to read another one in a second. But the gist of it is, is that junior who is to my understanding is not being depicted in the film because anthony mackie is playing the senior uh junior is his son that's like i said is not being depicted in the film you know that he molested his half sisters like i just said in the 1970s the problem is is that he was all over he was doing the press tour and all over the marketing material you know trying to get the buzz for this however you know it's alleged that as far as the story is concerned, that the timeline, the true life timeline was altered to leave his half sisters out of the film. Now, in the film, Anthony Mackie is playing Garrett Sr. And in the film, he is married to Neil Long's character. And what they're saying is basically the gist of it is, is that at the time in this film that they're doing everything with the bank and trying to lend to other African-Americans, he was divorced at that time from his first wife and married to a second wife who was the mother of the half sisters. And they edited all of that information just to leave them out the story completely. Now that, you know, first of all, uh, sexual assault, molestation and rape is very, very serious. OK, I am not trying to sweep that under the rug. Uh, no, that needs to be taken serious. It's disgusting. Um, I don't know the Garrett Jr. I don't know if he did it. I, I, you know, I don't have the information. If he did do it, that's horrible. That's disgusting. Yeah, uh, but at the same time, these are these are uh, alleged, you know, accusations. So I can't come to any conclusions here. I hope it's not true. But if it is true, I mean, you know, th th that is very bad. That is very horrible. And I, I do feel sorry for the victims that are involved in this. So I'm not trying to sweep that under the rug. But at the same time, I do have a problem. You know, if it is true and, you know, they change the story to just write them completely out of the picture or whatever, um, you know, and it, it sucks. And um, Garrett Jr. Uh, and just more from Deadline, Garrett Jr. as a character appears in the movie briefly. OK, excuse me, it like he is in the movie briefly. We understand that Garrett Sr. sold the pick rights to Romulus Entertainment and that deal reverted to Garrett Jr. after his father's death making him a co-producing or excuse me, co-producer in name only. The banker also features Gary Sr.'s first wife, Eunice, Neil Long. The half sisters have claimed that some events taking place in the film actually occurred after Eunice and Gary Sr. were divorced, like I just stated. Now, here's a statement from uh, Gary Jr. My half sisters, Cynthia and Sheila, have accused me of molesting them in the early 1970s when I was a teenager of about 15. This simply never happened, period. What did happen is that I told my father when I discovered that their mother, Linda, was cheating on him and they have always blamed me for the breakup that followed. What did happen is that Cynthia asked my father twice to give her the right to make a movie of his life story 
and twice he turned her down and instead decided to entrust those rights to me and a friend of mine. These charges against me are deeply humiliating and frustrating because I can never prove how false they are. I can only hope that people will keep an open mind, and though I forgive my sisters and bear them no ill will, I do hope that people will educate themselves on who Cynthia is and why she might make these accusations right now before they take her word as truth. For myself, the best I could do was remove my name from the film and step away so as not to tarnish my father's legacy as honoring him and what he stood for is all I ever wanted to do. End quote. So now Cynthia Garrett gave another statement to IndieWire, the sister company of Deadline, and she's steadfast on her accusation. She says, At four years old, Bernard Garrett Jr. forced himself on my baby sister in secret. He continued repeatedly whenever he could for years. It occurred in our home and in a grove or field near our home in Glendora, California. Additionally, Bernard Guerra Jr. forced himself on me in secret beginning at age seven and continued for years. My abuse occurred in our home in Glendora, California and continued until we moved with our parents to the Bahamas. Bernie Jr. did not come with us. We spent years of our childhood in fear of being alone with him and many more years feeling silenced by the shame and darkness of what he did to us. When my sister was 16 and I was 19, I learned that she too had been abused. Recently, I have learned that her abuse was even worse than mine. Bernard Garrett Jr. admitted the acts just days ago to my brother on the phone. My whole family of eight stands in unity on the truth of this. He has recently issued a statement filled with lies. With that statement, he repeatedly rapes us. Years later, he purported to have the rights to our father's story. He did not. My father gave us the rights on video. He attempted to get a waiver from us in 2011, which we did not give because he was a sex offender. He went on in his statement to accuse my mother of not being faithful to my father. She was pregnant for seven years straight during this period. She is innocent in this and is also a victim. It seems the legal representatives on this film want to position themselves as defending the actions of a child molester and mentioning a 15 year age, which is inaccurate and disgusting that they are inferring that he was a minor as they defend his position. How sick. It shows what we have seen from them the whole time. An exploitative orientation of our family. To steal, kill, and destroy is in Bernard Garrett Jr.'s nature. It is shocking to see the makers of the banker align with him and his rape. By Cynthia and the entire Garrett family, except Bernard Jr. End quote. I don't know what happened. He says this. She says that. Um, this is very serious. I can completely understand why Apple would want to pull this and see exactly what's going on hopefully we can't find the truth hopefully some justice can be served um but you know I, I don't again i don't mean to sweep this under the rug i mean i can't imagine you know what they went i mean if this is true i don't know i'm not blaming anyone this is alleged but if it is true i mean that's horrible you no one should have to go through that you know, it is unfortunate that the film won't be made. Uh, well, it, it was made. It won't be shown. We'll, we'll see. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I want to recommend a book since we're talking about financial literacy. First African-Americans to try this in the country. It's a book by Professor Mercer Baradaran. It's called The Color of Money, Black Banks and the Racial Wealth Gap. Go ahead and uh, get you a copy of that right there. Great book. Go ahead and read that. This talks about... Uh, the title of the book and you know how african americans in this country um after the civil war how we have tried financially to um liberate ourselves and just live strong fulfilling lives financially and how it's been thwarted time after time by the government and evil white supremacist groups um but guys what do you think about all this uh, what do you think about these allegations? What do you think about the film? Do you think it will be shown? Do you think it should be shown? Do you think Apple should have pulled it? Or do you, are you with them? You know, I would like to know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. 
But guys, that is just my opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like the video, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I just reached 15,000 subscribers. And thank you so much, guys. I'm still very small. But please subscribe and help me reach to 20,000 subscribers. And then we can move on to 1 million. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. There's links in the description box and the pinned comments. All you got to do is click the link and click the follow button. Help me reach at least 1,000 subscribers or followers on Instagram. But guys, again, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget to always chase your dreams because I'm chasing mine. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.